Hello, my name is Brittany Watson, and this is Nicole Ensing. We work here at the White Museum of the Canadian Rockies in the Archives and Library as archival assistants. Today we're going to share with you an important collection from our archives, the Burt Riggle Fong. The Burt Riggle Fong contains approximately 13,000 photographs, two meters in textual materials, and several cartographic records, all documenting the life of this outfitter, hunter, trapper, naturalist, photographer, writer, and guide. Bert Riggle moved from England to southern Alberta in 1904. He secured a job at Craighurst Farm near Calgary, where he met his wife, Dora. In 1905, Bert worked for the Correction Land Survey, touring southwestern Alberta. While Bert was surveying what is now Waterton Lakes National Park, he became enamored with the mountain landscape. In 1906, Bert and Dora married and moved to the Waterton area, where they homesteaded and ranched until 1946. By 1909, Bert was running a guiding and outfitting business, leading numerous hunting and fishing excursions in the area. Working with his wife, Dora, Bert led trips throughout the Rockies, Yarrow Canyon onto Bighorn Pass, the Avian Ridge Trail, the Continental Divide between Alberta and BC in the South Castle, and Akamina Ridge. These trips fueled Bert's lifelong commitment to exploring, photographing, and writing about the area. The photographs in this collection are both documentary and aesthetically stunning renderings of Rocky Mountain life and landscape. The images speak to Riggle's relationship to the mountains, hunting, ranching, and guiding juxtaposed with his attention to geology, plants, and animals in the area, and the effects of his activities had on particular species. Bert Riggle's photographs are representative of the indistinct line between the use of the land that his livelihood depended on and his appreciation for the areas he wished to see protected. Bert's images take the viewer beyond iconic or popular views of the Canadian Rocky Mountains, exposing a distinct interpretation of life in the Rockies. Riggle's relationship to the landscape inspired an intergenerational commitment to mountain stewardship and conservation. Both of his daughters, Doris Burton and Kay Russell, became dedicated stewards of the Rocky Mountains. Riggle's son-in-law and business partner, Andy Russell, became an important figure in environmental ad advocacy through his writing, photography, filmmaking, and lecturing. The sons of Andy and Kay also went on to work on the preservation and protection of natural areas in southern Alberta and beyond. Notably, Riggle's grandson, Charles Russell, has worked extensively with bear populations in Canada and internationally. Bert Riggle's photographs, notes, and heritage objects articulate a unique narrative that contributes to our sense of place and how we today see ourselves in relation to the Rocky Mountains. Stewarding and preserving collections such as the Bert Riggle Fawn held here at the White Museum of the Canadian Rockies is important to researchers and in developing an understanding of the interconnectedness of mountain systems, including the environment, economy, and society. If you're interested in knowing more about Bert Riggle and his extensive archival collections, you can come visit us in the Archives and Library here at the White Museum. We are also hosting a show of his photographs from April to June 2017. We hope you can join us.